Hey everybody, this is Dallas Rubano and Sean Cox, and today we're going to go with a push kick, and this is dedicated to Grace because she wanted to know how to do this. All right, so here we go. All right, now what Sean's going to do is going to show you the three types or angles of using your feet when you do a push kick. The first one is pushing with the ball of the foot. So go ahead, Sean. So notice he's pushing with the ball of the foot. Okay. Now he's going to go at full speed. So that's the rear push kick. Now he's going to do the front using the lead leg. There he goes. Okay. Now the next one he's going to do is the flat push kick. So he's using the full flat portion of his foot. To, to, it's basically called a stop kick, but it's also a push kick. And notice how he's pushing with the full force of his foot from heel to toe. Okay. Now, the thing about the flat push kick is you want to hit them and to stop them from coming at you. But be careful. Don't go too high because if you're not flexible enough, you could pull an Achilles tendon, and that's the end of that. You know. Also, so, run at risk of having that straight leg sort of buckle. Yeah, and also too, it could push you back. So you got to be very careful with that uh, stop kick. All right. So be careful. And if you're flexible, that's good. It's usually if you're taller, it works out really well. But if you're shorter, don't do that. Okay. If you, if anything hit lower, like at the hip area, and that'll be better for you. Okay. And now the final one is the angled push kick using the ball or the heel of the foot. It looks like a normal push kick, but the difference is right as it comes. It turns out to the out, outside, and you hit, hit it with the heel. To me, that's the best one for combat, and it's the easiest one to do because you don't have to be very flexible. And you attack primarily in the hip joint, and the leg, and at the knee. Okay? There you go. So that's the angle that you, that you want to use. Again, it's more safer. It also uses up a lot. You get, it's a, a wider uh, area to be able to hit with versus the, the stop kick or uh, the uh, ball of the push kick. Those two right there, if you don't hit it just right in the center of the body, uh, they could slip, and then you're right in front of the guy, you know, and it's not good. So that's why I like, for combat purposes, the heel push kick. It's a lot easier to do. It's more safer, and you don't have to be very flexible, and it, and it really gives a good kick to the opponent and can hurt him really bad. All right, there's three types of push kick we're going to show you today. The lead leg push kick, the rear leg push kick, and the switch kick. Okay, so Sean's going to demonstrate each one. He's going to start, start a little bit slow, then he's going to go full speed. So here's the lead leg push kick. Okay, now he's going to show you the rear leg push kick. And he's using the ball of the foot on these, all, all these kicks. There you go. Usually the, the rear leg push kick is the more powerful one, but sometimes you want to do the lead leg because you want to be faster. Just like a jab and a cross. Okay, there you go. Now, the last one we're going to show you is the switch push kick. Sometimes you might need to switch because you can't get that front leg to do it. So you switch it and you give it to the rear leg. So here goes. Mean. Just do it! Okay, all right. This works really good, when you and you can surprise your opponent when you kick it in with a switch kick. Switch push kick, that is. All right, guys. Now, what Sean's going to show you right now is the attacking push kicks, okay? So the difference is here, guys, as soon as Sean hits the bag, he just immediately drops the, bag, the foot down right in front of the, the opponent and just brings his weight forward, okay? If you notice, he just... Hits, drops the foot, and then drags the rear foot forward. You can also push yourself forward with the rear foot 
as you make contact with the bag and, and drop the foot. There you go. Okay. So this is meant to attack. It's an aggressive way of attacking with a push kick. Okay. Don't ever just push kick and just stand there because that's not going to do you any good. Because the opponent's going to be right in front of you and he's going to be ready for you to do something else. If you want to attack him, push, push kick him and just attack him. Just immediately. Don't even hesitate. Okay. Because if you just push kick the guy, all you've done is just spread out more, give him more room to spread away from you. Okay. So instead of him being four or five feet in front of you, now he's like about seven or eight feet in front of you. So if that's what you want in order for you to escape, that's fine. But if you're trying to attack, then don't do that. Just push kick him and drop the foot in front and then slide in on him and attack him. The difference between a push kick to create distance and a push kick to come in. Right. So those are the different ways you want to do the push kick for, for attack. Okay. So you can use either the front or the rear leg. The only difference is obviously using the front or the rear leg. But the key thing is as soon as you kick it, you drop the foot down, straight down, and you drive off the rear to get into the, to get to the um, opponent. So those are the different ways you can attack using the push kick. Right now we're going to show you the push kick escape and the push kick attack. Now the difference is the way you use your foot placement after you've kicked with your push kick. Okay. So what Sean's going to do right now is he's going to push kick the bag and then he's going to do the escape by dropping his foot without bringing it back. If you notice he just dropped his foot right where he kicked to be able to escape or to move. Okay. The second way is to push kick the bag and bring it back. Kind of like in a jab or when you're sparring with your partner you just bring it back to set up for another kick with the same leg or with the other leg. So that's when you bring it back. Okay. So those are the two different ways or versions of putting your foot down after you've done kicking the back. You can do the escape or, to the, or angle out or the back, just bringing it back. Okay. So those are two different ways, there you go. Those are the two different ways you would want to use after you've done pushing the bag with your, with your leg. Okay. So those are two things to consider and think about it and work those in when you're doing your push kicks. All right guys. Now Sean's going to just do a push kick attack, or escape, excuse me, an escape. He's going to hit the bag with his leg and immediately angle off and escape. Okay? There he goes. If you notice, as soon as Sean hits the bag, his foot immediately touches the ground. It just drops from where it's at. And he just moves to the to the left or to the right of the bag. So sometimes the reason why you would use this, guys, in a fight, in a, in a street fight, is because you just want to escape and get away from the individual that's attacking you. So you just give him a push kick and immediately drop the foot in the angle of the uh, 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 the uh, route that you want to escape from. Okay? Maybe his friends are behind him or to the side of him, so you would want to use your push kick and hit him and go the opposite way. We're using the opposite leg to push kick with. Okay? And so that way you can make your escape and get away from the guy. You never want to give the guy your back. So if you push kick and you go to the opposite side like that, he goes, that's wrong because they can get you and they can hit you. Someone can get at you. Better, there you go. It's better to push kick and go to the opposite side. Or use the opposite leg to go to that opposite side. Or the same leg to go to the same side. There you go. Now for the front, you can do the front also and then cut out to the left. There you go. So this is the different ways you can escape using the push kick and angling out to the left or to the right. Remember again guys, don't push kick and give them your back. Okay. So push kick with the right leg or the left leg depending on which way you want to go. Okay. And so those are the different ways and different patterns you can use to escape with the push kick. All right, guys. Now what Sean's going to do is going to show you a co couple of combinations off of the push kick. Okay, so here we go. So he's going to push kick, round, round kick. Push kick, round kick. Okay. So notice again, he just dropped his foot in front of the bag, 
and then he just round kicks it with the other leg. Okay, so that's the push kick, round kick combination. So he's using the opposite leg now. He's push kicking it with the front leg and kicking it with the rear leg. Round kicking it. So it's best to always practice this on both sides because you never know what side you, the opponent's going to come at you. Don't be a one-sided fighter. Okay. And the next one he's going to do is a push kick, elbow. There you go. So he's push kicking with the rear leg and he's shifted over and he's elbowing with the lead elbow. There you go. Now he's pushing with the lead leg and he's throwing the rear elbow to the back. Okay. Now the next one he's going to do is a push kick with a with a knee. There you go. Again, notice as soon as he kicks it, he drops that leg and he throws the knee. No wasted effort. Very quick and very very fast. You don't want to give your opponent enough time to counter you or to try to come in on you. You want to finish them as quickly as you can. See, now he's push kicking with the front leg and kneeing with the rear. You can also hop with the rear as you come in. That will give you more, more drive to your knee. There you go. And then finally, Sean's going to throw a push kick and an overhand or any other kind of punch you want to throw. There you go. I mean, you can also throw hammer fists, palm heels, but right now he's just going to throw overhands. Remember guys, when you're in a fight, you want, to go, you want to throw with your power weapons so they can either knock them out or knock them out of the way so you can escape. Don't ever try to just throw uh, trading punches with the guy because that's not good. It gives the other opponent time for him to counter you or his friends to jump on you, all right? So, you know, the, the sooner, the, the safer. Just like Jack Dempsey would say. Finish him off or knock him out of the way and then run away. Okay, good job. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. And uh, I just want to recap on some of the things that you learned today. First of all, there were three different angles that you're going to put your foot when you throw a push kick. You're either going to put it ball of the foot, all right, heel, heel of the foot, or the flat of the foot, okay, for push kick. Those are the different angles you want to use when you use your foot when you're pushing, okay. The second part is, the different kinds of push kick. You've got lead leg push kick, rear leg push kick, and switch push kick. Okay, so each one has its benefits and uh, just train them and use them and see how that feels for you because if you don't have confidence in doing these techniques you're not going to do them. All right, so you must practice them. Okay, now the other thing is dropping the foot versus bringing it back. Okay, so if you kick or push kick somebody or something like the bag then you drop the foot down where it's at you don't retract it and you come in with the rear leg okay for attack okay or you can push and angle out to escape all right so those are the different ways you can use it or the third way obviously is you push kick and bring your foot back and retract it so you can throw either another push kick or use another technique with the other leg okay and the other thing we want to go over was 
the escape versus the attacks. Okay, again, you push kick and you leave the leg, angle it, and get away. Either you know to the left or to the right of the bag or the individual when you're push kicking. Okay, that's to get away and escape. There's no reason for you to fight with the individual if you can escape. Okay, use it for a surprise attack so that you can create enough space so you can't escape. Okay, and if you can't escape, then obviously you want to be able to attack. So as soon as you push kick, you drop your leg down that you've pushed with and drive off the rear and attack them with whatever weapons you want. Okay, and the other part was adding the different types of weapons to your push kick for attack. You know, you have the round kick, either side of the leg you want to throw with, you have the knees, you have your elbows, you have your fists, okay? So you can come and attack and you can use hammer fists, chops, push, uh, palm heels when you're attacking with that push kick, okay? And adding it to your combinations. There's nothing wrong with learning how to add extra, you know, little combinations. Whatever we showed you here, you can add to it, you know, make it more. Uh, we just want to show you a, a few things you can use to be able to get your mind to generate new and create new type of combinations. You want the combinations to be very uh, powerful, okay, because obviously if you're fighting in a street fight, you want to make sure you want to take the guy out and get away and use the least amount of weapons as you can to be able to get away. You know, Jack Dempsey said, the sooner, the safer, uh, the reason why he would always try to knock out somebody in the first round, okay. So it's the same thing, you get in a street fight, you got 8 to 10 seconds, Finish them as quick as you can to be able to get away as fast as you can, okay? And the last thing I want to say, guys, is practice these techniques. Go over them and let them become part of you. Again, if you don't have confidence in them, you're not going to do them, okay? When it, when it comes down to having to do them, you're not going to do them because you won't think, okay? It won't be there. It has to be inside of you, and that's the only way you can do that is by practice, 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 all right? So do that, and I'm sure that you're going to like this, these techniques for these push kicks. And it's going to help you go a long way to make you a better and more lethal fighter. Okay? Until next time, this is Dan Brown saying, don't just hit him, punch a hole through him, or with your push kick. All right? Take care, and we'll see you later. Goodbye. And Grace, this one's for you. Take care.